Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Shanique Bakeford. Today I'm going to be sharing with you on the topic of the different compartments or the different levels of hell. I figured since I've been sharing my out-of-body experiences and testimonies of having been able to see hell, um, I would actually come on and do a teaching on the different levels or the different departments of hell. I do think that we often use the word hell very loosely, not understanding exactly what we're talking about. When you actually talk about hell, where's my phone? When you actually talk about hell, you're talking about there are different words that are used interchangeably for, well, not interchangeably, but there are different words that are actually used that actually mean hell, but there's a different particular um, there's a different particular thing that is happening in that particular place of hell And so you have Sheol, you have Hades, you have the abyss, outer darkness, you have Gehenna, Tartarus You have the lake of fire So there are actually several words that I want to share with you guys that helps you to understand more What is it that hell is like? What happens in these actual departments? And what happens to you after you die? No. I have my board, have some notes, and I have my board. Um, I hope you guys can see. I'm going to try my very best to do justice to this thing. So, what what is it that happens after you die? Listen, before I go any further, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like, turn on your post notification, leave a comment down below, share with someone. And as I always say, thanks so much for being a part of this channel. We want to grow and be a blessing to more persons. So don't forget to share. All right, so what is it exactly that happens after you die? So after you die, there's two things that two things that happen, and I believe that a lot of theologians actually go against this teaching. It is what I actually believe. There are some that are pro, some that are against this thing, but I stand to believe that after you die, there are two things that happen. There are some that goes to a place of torment, a holding place of torment, which is not eternal, which is not going to be that eternal or that last death. There are also um, another set of people that die who are actually belonging to Christ that died in Christ that goes directly to be with the Lord so when you die the first thing that happened is you go to a place that is called Sheol or Hades my penmanship is not the best so when you die the first thing that happened is you go to a place called Sheol or Hades this place is a place of the grave so let's put grave right here. So the first thing that happens when you die is you go to Sheol or Hades, which is the grave. Now, prior to Jesus' atonement for sin, who all souls that died actually went to Hades or the grave. There are two different compartments of Hades, which I'm going to share with you in just a second. So the souls of all who died went to Sheol or Hades, which is actually a Hebrew word. It is defined as a world of the dead and the underworld or the world of the dead, whether you're saved or not everybody dies actually goes to this place whether you're saved or not whether you are rich or not they all actually go to this place it is the word sheol is a hebrew word that is translated uh hell or the grave in Amos 9 and verse 2, it says, Though they dig into Sheol, from there shall my hand take them. So it's saying, even though they dig into Sheol, from there my hand shall take them. Which means that you can't dig into the lake of fire, can you? You can't dig into the bottomless pit, can you? But you can actually dig into Sheol. That's actually the grave. They bury people, I think it's six feet below the ground. So Sheol is actually said to be the actual grave. Now in Luke 16 verse 19 to 31 it shares on the account of two persons a rich man and a poor man it shares on the story of lazarus and dives it is said that both of them were in the same place which i believe both of them were actually dead they were in a place called sheol hades except there's two different compartments so the two different compartments are a place of torment so over here you have place of torment you have the place of torment and then right here is a gulf so you have a gulf which separates i hope you guys can see and then over here you have abraham's bosom so over here you have a place of comfort which is abraham's bosom So 
it is now said that since the atonement of sin, since Jesus died for us, no one has to actually go to this holding place. Whenever you die, you go directly to be with Jesus. So no one is actually in this place currently. However, those that die actually, that does not die in Christ, actually come to this place, which is a place of torment. No, we're going to take it a bit further. Um, we're going further into hell. God forbid. <laughs> Let me put this up here. So we're taking it further. So after you die, you go to a place of Sheol or Hades. Um, it is compartmentalized into two different places, the place of torment and the place of Abraham's bosom where no one is actually currently. Then there's a place called Gehenna. Gehenna is actually said to be the lake of fire. And it's a place of torment. This is where demon priests torment you and you go through hell, powder her holes and all of these things. Then you come to a place called Gehenna. Gehenna is said to be the lake of fire. Let's put it right here. Said to be the lake of fire. Now, since Gehenna is the lake of fire, then this simply means that it is parallel to the second death. So when you die, that's not it. When you die, you go to a place of torment, Hades. That's actually not it. Um, there will be a second death where God will throw or Father will throw hell into the lake of fire. And so um, it actually does, it, it actually gets really worse. So this is why the Bible says in Mark 4 and 9, if your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled, having your two hands, than go to hell to that unquenchable fire. So, so that unquenchable fire, it actually means a place of eternal unquenchable suffering where sinners go. And and as I said, it's actually the second death that sinners actually go through. So we're, so that's Gehenna, the lake of fire. No, there is actually another place that is called Tartarus. So Tartarus, there's another place that is called Tartarus that is actually in the Bible in 2 Peter 2, 9. For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into Tartarus and committed them to pits of darkness reserved for judgment. So Tartarus is a temporary prison for fallen angels. So in fallen angels that were cast out from heaven actually go to this holding temporary place called tartarus so no humans are there they're only fallen angels that are there if you read through the book of genesis you will read the story about the fallen angels that um fell down that were actually having intercourse with uh humans and producing some weird looking kind of children babies or whatever it is so this is what this is what actually happens when you read through the bible you will find this word not very often it's not listed very often in the bible but tartarus is another part of hell where fallen angels are actually placed so we're going to the outer darkness so that's another place the outer darkness so very little is actually said about the outer darkness i'm not sure where exactly in hell this is um you have the outer darkness You have the outer darkness and in the outer darkness, the Bible doesn't say much about it or not much is actually said about outer darkness, but we do see where Jesus had actually spoken about it, that it will be a place of punishment. And it says in Matthew 8 verse 12, but the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So, um there is outer darkness that's where there'll be a lot of weeping and wailing gnashing of teeth and all these things happening so we have to understand um we have to i want you guys to really understand this thing that when you die uh you don't just go to hell just like that you are in a you're in a place a, a, a temporary place of eternal torment because even when you leave from that place of hades and you're thrown into the lake of fire or whatever it is you still go through torment so it is it is said to be an eternal place of torment so when sinners die and it's, it's a very sad thing that many believe that you know if if someone dies they, they weren't a christian that they become an angel and they go to a place where they're okay it's always sad to talk about people that have family or children that died but are not in christ this is why we must pray for our family our children our friends that they give their lives to god because it's not easy to know that somebody dies for you that is not a christian that actually goes to a place of hell so we want to pray for our 
family, our children, our friends, and so on and so forth. So when you die, everybody goes to Sheol or Hades, which is said to be the grave. Uh, when you go here, it is divided into two different sections. You have the place of torment and you have Abraham's bosom. I did say that no one is actually in Abraham's, the place of Abraham's bosom. No, because uh, Jesus died for our sins. And when we die in Christ, we go directly to be with God for our millennium. Um, you also have Gehenna, which is said to be um, where the un unquenchable fire is, the lake of fire is, uh, where I believe that God will cast the old dragon into the lake of fire. Uh, there is... Um, there is Tartarus where fallen angels are held in a place of prison until the great Armageddon and the great war and all of that happens. Then Christ will destroy the dragon and, you know, throw him into that bottomless pit into the lake of fire where he will no longer be able to torment you and I because we will be with the Savior. And you have out of darkness where the Bible shares that out of darkness is said to be a place of weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. I do believe that I have encountered seeing this place. I did share that it was a place of utter darkness. It was extremely dark. There was no farm. There was no void. There were no developments, no like coroners or anything like that. It was just complete darkness. And people were there arguing, complaining, hissing their teeth, saying that I preach people into heaven, but I'm here. Oh, I'm a pastor. How did I end up here? Repenting and so on and so forth. I do believe that this actually happens here. The place of torment that I saw before where I saw it was like, um, it was like prison cells or something like that. And even though it was a place like prison cells, demon express were coming in, pulling people out through the tiny bars. People were in there morphing into humans and into bats because, and it was painful. It was just so much that was happening. If you haven't seen my hell videos, I want you to go back, check the videos that I've shared on hell. I shared about hell, suicidal hell, and my encounters of seeing um, the dragon stuck in the mouth of a dragon. And there's so much that I shared. So if you haven't seen that, please go ahead, check it out. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate you guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day